All right, it's been just about two months since Sycamore Brewing opened its new location in South End. It's two stories, tons of space inside and outside. And if you're gonna hang out, you want some really good food, right? Well, Colleen O'Hare is a head chef of the Sycamore Brewing, and she is here to share all of her magic and wisdom with us. Good to see I don't you. Know about that, but yes. Happy <laughs> Friday to you. Friday to you. Well, um, we're, we're, first of all, I want to hear more about the new location. So you guys recently opened, we just said, yep. um, and on South in South End. It's it's very big. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's busy. It's it's great. Amazing. Yeah. And so anytime you have a reopening, you also have a new menu. Right. Well, before we didn't even have food, so now this is a new venture for Sycamore. So Love it. I'm trying to match the consistency of their beer with a great product to keep people in the brewery eating and drinking. <laughs> That's so, what we yeah. want. That's what we want. <laughs> well, you're doing something super cool for us today. You are taking, you know, something from those high-end restaurants and you're putting a Carolina twist on it. Correct. Using Nisa's liver mush, which mm -hmm. is a local sort of favorite. Uh, normally it would be a pate from in a Vietnamese mm -hmm. banh mi and mm -hmm. we're just replacing it out with a Carolinian banh mi. So okay. To speak. So, so normally the pate and pate is something we associate with like high with culture, French, you know, French, French Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. So now this is just good old Carolina, you know, Carolina yeah. pate that you fry up. I love it. I mean, what's better than frying it all up? Is there a difference between liver mush and pate? Uh, just that it's a little bit more, you know, like you can see it's solid. Like yeah, you it's put a dense. little bit more cornmeal in it to keep it combined where it's not just like a whipped chicken liver product. Okay. This is like a a firm loaf that you can fry up. This is how they recommend to cook it. The crispy on the outside. Yeah. Kind of nice soft in the middle. Soft on the inside. And just it's a favorite here. People love. People love it. We yes. were just saying you and I are originally from the Midwest. Right. You're from Ohio. Right. Ohio. I'm from Illinois. But when you come down to the Carolinas, this is what you get. This is what people love. This Good is old. what you want to try. Yeah. Liver mush. And what now, better than putting it in a banh mi? A breakfast banh mi. Perfect. I think it's brilliant. So you're frying up a couple of eggs right. there. We're launching our brunch menu this weekend. So this is the mm -hmm. first time that we'll be debuting these dishes. So hopefully it'll be something for everybody. I think so. Tell me a little bit more about what's going on that menu, that brunch menu. Um, we're doing. I'm doing a waffles made with our Southern Girl beer. Oh. It's just waffle batter made with Southern Girl beer. It sounds oh. kind of odd, but it's really actually well with strawberries on top, oh. some creme fraiche. Nice. We're doing a cinnamon French toast, mm. uh, baked French toast. Oh, that sounds delicious. You know, our signature breakfast sandwich with English muffins. It's going to be good with a smash burger in it. It's going to, we got a, quite a bit of stuff. It sounds like a wonderful so, menu. 10 to 2 this weekend we start the brunch menu. That's excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. All right, what are your tips on frying a good egg? Some uh, people make it like a little too hard, a little too crispy. Sure I like it a little bit crispy. Yeah, but. make sure. I like when a, the edges get crispy. And then yeah. this sandwich, I want it to kind of break. I don't want to run a yolk in it because it'll kind of mess up mm. the sandwich. Mm. So while we're frying all that up, we want to pickle our veggies in a little seasoned rice wine vinegar. Ah. Just to give those that flavor. Now, do they need to marinate for a certain amount of time? Yeah, you want to you want to do it for at least, you know, at least a couple minutes. But you could let it go longer if you really like that pickle. Yeah, that some pickle do. flavor. You know, just depends on your preference. Okay. And like I said, you really want to get this crispy mm. on the outside. Oh, it has that. You guys know the flavor. You know the smell. I'm smelling it right now. <laughs> that liver mush. Getting crispy. Like, in the I pan. remember that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Are then, you a fan of liver mush, by the way, Chef? Yes, I'm a convert. Okay. Sure. Me too. Yeah. I I'm, like it too. <laughs> I don't understand convert. why so many people dislike liver mush. John Carter has taught us all to love liver mush. <laughs> and I think a lot of things are you don't have it cooked properly or in something that you're going to enjoy. This you is know, true. It's like a plate of liver mush and ugh, you know. Right, right, right. And I think you're doing it up right here. So okay. hopefully, hopefully this will introduce a lot of people that haven't had it. I think so. There's so we keep reading about how many people are coming to Charlotte from elsewhere right. every single day. So this is a dish. This might be their perfect start to liver mush. Is we're exactly. tasting this dish here, that Carolina bun. So we're just frying everything up. This is right. a aioli that's been made with uh, Texas peat, which is another Carolinian yes. product, even though it's called Texas peat. Right. Oddly enough, just well, that a, looks a nice spicy aioli on your baguette. Yum. I like a little spice in the morning. Yeah, just something to go with the eggs. Okay, that's getting close. Like I said, I'm not going to try, even though that's perfect there. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of ruin it. You want to flip it? Yes, I want to get those yolks cooked. Solid. 
Okay. It's getting pretty crispy here. I like it crispy. I've had liver mush both ways, like crispy and then sort of fresh off the block. Oh. I like it crispy. Yeah. No, <laughs> fresh off crispy. the block I would not recommend. <laughs> some, you know, some people do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got it. Maybe not as an introductory. No, no. Yeah. There Yum. we go. Yummy. And you don't have to add any seasoning to the liver mush. It's perfect no, as it's is, totally right? No, it's totally seasoned and ready to go. All right, we have about 30 seconds. Perfect okay. timing. Getting that on there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that is a perfect our fried egg. egg on there. Yes, indeed. And, and then, then the pickled veg. Okay, people forget that vegetables are great for brunch. Oh yeah, and the the acid in there from the pickling liquid helps you eat more. Oh, so well, it helps you eat more. Great so for us. I mean, that's you're not going to feel full. Not so after you eat this giant sandwich. This yes. giant breakfast sandwich. That looks so good, chef. If it's okay with you. We're going to try that after the break. Please do. It looks do. delicious. But there's all the information you guys need to know at home for Sycamore Brewing. There's the website, the Instagram as well. And don't forget the QC Kitchen app. That's where you can find and download all of those delicious recipes.